Hey everybody, Chris Shane for Apotsky Outdoors back here in Central Florida today. We're on Orange Lake between Gainesville, Ocala, I-75 is only a few miles behind us. It's one of the most popular places to crappie fish in the entire state because it produces slabs. We're going to come out here and show you that little chartreuse, live chartreuse fire dye minnows can bring more slabs to your boat in less time. Let's see how we do. Hey everybody, we're going to do our last day of crappie fishing down here in Central Florida. Once again, we're going to be using the chartreuse fire dye from Potsky with our minnows. Look, I got my, my minnow bucket here. I got a little minnow bucket aerator here. Take my fire dye, open it up. We're going to go one part fire dye to four parts water. Right now we're just using a purified water. Get it in here. Remember, we're gonna, today what we're doing is a short soap. So we can go 30 minutes to an hour and these minnows are going to be ready to go. Remember, this is real easy. One part fire dye, four parts water. When you're dyeing these minnows, it's just important to remember, hey, you get a separate bucket, get it in there. Look at this. You can see we got our dye in there with a little bit of water. Now all we're going to do is we're just going to take our minnows. You see here we got these, some little fathead minnows down here. We're just going to drop some in there. Look at that. It's real easy. <clears throat> We're going to dye these minnows up. We're sitting here, we're doing a short soak right now. 30 minutes to an hour. These little minnows are going to be ready to go. We're going to take them out, put them in some fresh water, put them right back in our aerator uh, bucket here. This angle cooler with the rest of our minnows. Hey, we're good to go. These fish will stay in there. They'll stay alive. Hey, this is eco-friendly. Doesn't hurt the minnows, doesn't hurt the fish, doesn't hurt the body of waters that we're fishing in. Why don't you hop in the boat with us today and see how we catch these crappies. It's wrapped up and it's going all the way over. Do what you can. Look at that boy. Is it a Oh, it's a slab, yeah. Oh, it's a nice one. Just hammered another nice slab black crappie. Look at that, running these chartreuse fire dive minnows. Hey, yeah, just pulled, ran. Look at that. Beautiful looking fish. doing a long line trolling out here because these these fish these big Florida lakes they're just they're all round they're they're not very deep the fish are, are scattered out all through here there's there's not there's no there's no drops or channels or nothing like that so what we're doing is we got we got our jigs on our curly tails we're tipping with minnows and what we do we, we, you just throw them out you know way behind the boat and you use, use a trolling motor to move them along so basically it's just like casting and, and retrieving, but instead we're letting the boat do all the work. We throw them out, let them sit, and we're just swimming all these baits through the water. And by doing that, we can cover a lot of water faster. The more water you cover, the more fish are going to go over. The more fish see it, the more fish you end up catching at, at, at the end of the day. And we're out here in the middle of the lake. Um, this lake's a, all these lakes, like I said, they're they're shallow lakes. We're, you know, the deepest part of this lake, I believe, is only about 10 foot. And uh, around the bank, you know, it's got the pads. It's, it's a lot shallower, two, three foot. We had a cold front come through. So these lakes, these fish are pushed out here to this deeper water. Um, there's a bunch of bait out here. You can look on my screen. Um, there's all kind of bait, and these fish are just hanging out out here, and they're just roaming around feeding, and we're doing the same thing. We're just roaming around with a bunch of baits out and um, catching a bunch of fish. Pete and Renat, it's Peter and Al. Same guys, man. Just Nice flexible rods. Everything just feels feels like a dandy. It's not bad though. It's not a bad fish. We got a double. Another double. Sorry, we got a triple. We got a triple. We're gonna grab one more hand because you're about to catch another one. 
running out of running out of arms here. So got one on the other one? Send it back to you. There it is, right there. Another beautiful slab black crappie. Fishing Orange Lake, Central Florida. We're getting it done with these chartreuse fire dyed minnows. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from Central Florida. We're halfway between Ocala and Gainesville at Orange Lake. Orange Lake is no secret to anybody that crappie fishes in the state. You know, it could have some of the best crappie in the state at times. We came out here today with live chartreuse fire diamondos, tipped them on jigs, and long line right out the back of the boat. As you can see, we got 10 lines working all at the same time and caught dozens of fish, if not almost 100, in one morning's work.